Welcome back to the Festival RV. We hope that you, you've enjoyed the uh, videos that we've had so far. Uh, today we're going to talk about the essentials of, of doing a, when you're doing a festival, things that you really need to take with you. And uh, we're going down here to our little storage building right now. And you're going to pull out a table and show you some of the things that we believe are essential that you really need to take with you. So stick with us and at the end of this we'll give you a really good really good idea of things that you just can't do without and i better move before she runs over me whoa let's walk on down here we'll get the stepping as they say oh here she comes she's getting faster i think she must paid up my life insurance all right be right back All right, now we've got everything set up out here and the dogs are just having a wonderful time helping us out. But uh, Lisa, since how she owns Lisa's Casa Crafts and we're a division of that, if you will, <laughs> that's because we're married. But anyway, uh, they say she's my better half, so this must be the better half of the business. All right, she's going to uh, tell you what all this stuff is and why we need it and why it's essential to what you're going to be doing if you're going into the festival business all right lisa you're on all right today we're going to go over what i call is the tackle box or the junk box <clears throat> we've been doing this for 16 years and this has come by a lot of trial and error so just kind of bear with me and we'll get this done first thing that you're going to need and you're probably going i don't need all of this yeah you do because but as luck goes, you're going to be in the middle of nowhere, and everybody around you is not going to have a whole lot of time or energy to go looking for stuff. And the one main thing that we always need, we're going to go into that in just a minute. But this is, you can pick this up in any Dollar General or any store anywhere, and they're not expensive. And you just kind of open it up and we're going to go what we're going to do is we're going to load our box okay so we're going to start off here and i have a few things that are essential to my business and that's magnets because we have the little mosquito houses and people like to put magnets on the back of them and put them on the refrigerator but i don't have any with me today but anyway <clears throat> you're going to need a phillips head and a regular head screwdriver flathead screwdriver and these are for your canopy because the canopy it never fails if you're in a really windy day you're going to <clears throat> sorry about that you're going to have to put some screws probably back in your canopy because they do wiggle loose when your canopy blows around a lot especially the top of it so they will wiggle loose and you'll have to tighten your canopy back up or else your canopy will fall over it's one thing we found out wire cutters you never know when you're going to have to cut something to fit up with your canopy or fit on your display also there's a wrench and evidently the wrench did not make it needle nose pliers and you're probably wondering why do i need needle nose pliers if you have a push button canopy which is a canopy that has the push buttons on the side to lower your legs and your your top you're going to need one of these eventually because those little push buttons you can push in and sometimes they don't come back out. So these are very handy for going in and helping you get that button back out so you can lower your canopy and lower the, the top of your canopy. Okay, glue sticks. Always use glue sticks because you never know when something's gonna fall apart and you have to fix it in a hurry. And the nice thing about glue sticks is they dry in a hurry. So you can put these on but whatever it is, set it aside in a few hours, it's ready to go again. This is very handy. Baby wipes. <laughs> if you've ever handled money, you know why you need baby wipes. There are three reasons why you need baby wipes. Number one, if it's hot, you're going to wipe away sweat. Number two, if you got marshmallow shooters like my husband makes, kids are notoriously getting marshmallows stuck, and these are great with taking marshmallows out of marshmallow shooters. 
because it makes them dissolve in a hurry and they don't get all sticky and gooey and you just push them right through and they come out. <coughs> and also, if you're handling money, you need these. My daughter used to work in a bank and she used to tell me about all the studies that they used to do on what they found on money. Get you some handy wipes. Okay? Sharpies. Usually, I have a black Sharpie, but I think it's in my cash box. But I have three colors Sharpies, and I'll tell you what these are for. Okay, these are for your price tags, okay? Because you can mark your price tags, and I have two sets of price tags, and also I have some price stickers in, in another place. But these are really good with marching your merchandise. And the reason why I do three different colors is because the black will will stay the gray will stay and i normally have a blue one because a blue one i have a good friend over here who makes these purses and i mark hers in blue so i know that part of what i sell goes to her and we're going to talk some more about that in just a minute so if you're got merchandise that somebody else has made that you're carrying along with you and you need to keep the price tags and you keep need to keep them separate this is a good way to do it it's called color coding. These are very easy to pick up. You can pick some up just about anywhere that has um, school supplies or office supplies has these. And they're not very expensive. And get you a bunch of them because if they get wet, they don't last very long. They're gone in a hurry. So I'm going to put these in here. And also on a good wind, they don't last very long either because they're gone. To your neighbors <laughs> also a pair of scissors you always need a pair of scissors from everything from cutting price tags off if you've got a price tag that's messed up like I said in the wind in the rain they don't last very long <clears throat> and also it's notorious some of your neighbors are gonna need a pair of scissors for whatever so scissors are great also comes in handy for opening food bungee cord and you're probably going, why in the world do I need bungee cords? That's to keep me in line, right? <laughs> that keeps me in the chair. Bungee cords are really good for several things. And I wish I had brought that tote out. Uh, if you have a tote that the lid doesn't fit really well anymore, because sometimes when the totes get hot, they warp, the lids warp, which if you travel a lot, that happens. You can bungee cord your lid down so it doesn't go anywhere. You can also bungee cord your weights. This is a weight, believe it or not. No, it's not cat litter, it's sand. I had a good friend last year. Um, I ran off and forgot my weights. And Why do you need weights? You need weights to put on four feet of your can feet. The four little legs that go around. You need to weight down each one of those legs so when a good wind comes up, your canopy doesn't leave you. I have had two canopies that have been totally ruined. Um, they did have weights on them at one time. I had one that was picked up by a thunderstorm and put in a mud hole, and it totally ruined it. And the other one I have, it, the wind came along and just demolished it. Uh, it basically picked it up and crumbled it up. So you got to have weights on you your. You got to have legs. weights on your canopy. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, but anyway, I had left my weights at home, and she had these. She had the cat litter things, and it, we all know if we got cats, we got to have cat litter. But anyway, you can fill these full of sand, and they're pretty heavy with the sand in them. But if you put water on top of the sand in your container it almost doubles the weight of the weights it almost doubles the weight of the container so this way you've got a good solid foundation for a weight on your canopy and another <laughs> good thing is is they're pretty big so if people come behind your canopy they're not going to fall over them hopefully uh, the ones that you buy um, that are black and round those are really good but you got to be really careful because if you've got a festival that has a lot of foot traffic, people will step on them and move them and they're no longer where you want them to be. Found that out too. 
PVC pipe and cement is an awesome weight. I have some of those, but they're 30 pounds a piece, and they're pretty heavy. Um, these run about 15 to 20 pounds when they're when they're full and they're watered. But you put your bungee through cord through here, and then you bungee cord it to your legs, and you can wrap it all the way around, and it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to sit there on your legs of your canopy. Okay. Something else my husband forgot was water. I have Kool-Aid packets. <laughs> These go in water bottles. These are terrific. They come in all types of flavors and all kinds of concoctions. They come in everything from peach tea to um, the Good. cherry, the grape, all kinds. They're not expensive. They're like a dollar for a box. But they come in really handy because you get tired of drinking plain water after a while. And after you talk for a while, you're going to need some water. This is also... Excuse me. This is also a tablecloth weight. And for some reason, I have lost the hook off of it. But it's really good, especially put on the end of your tablecloths. Uh, they keep your tablecloths from blowing up. Okay. And if you've got something on your table that you don't really like. I have candles that have gel on the top of some of them. And you don't want your tablecloth in the gel candles because it will never come off again very easily <laughs> so that's one of the reasons and my other table weights are in the other bin this is a magnet this is also a clip in case you want to clip something uh, like a little sign or something on your table also for those of you who have uh, that take credit cards if you want to clip your little sign that you take credit cards or your business cards or something to something like a little sign holder these are awesome it's also a magnet on the back side and the reason why you want magnets is because <laughs> excuse me if you've got little hooks or a little something that you need to pick up in a hurry these are great like little screws little hooks because if you lose a screw out of a canopy you're going to want to find it because those are very difficult to find in a hardware store and you don't really have time to go to the hardware store once you're setting up in the festival. So these are great on helping you pick up the screws for your canopy. And the reason why I'm telling you about all the problems with canopy is canopies normally don't have problems, but they do happen. And they do happen at the most inopportune times. So also I'm going to show you one more thing on this is a little bit of twine. This also comes in handy in case you have to do a quick fix on your canopy. Uh, my dear darling husband one time was putting up a canopy and one of the uh, side trusses broke. So we had to put it together in a hurry. So we were really put together with baling twine and <laughs> bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, it felt like that day. And I had no bubble gum. <laughs> I had no bubble gum. Also, and he laughed at me when I told him, that we need to do some clothespins. And he's like, we don't need clothespins. Well, yes, you do. Another reason why you need clothespins is for signs. Uh, you can also clothespin in there. Memos, in case you want to write yourself a memo, or in case you want to write your customers a memo. That's like if we're having, you know, these are our last, so this is the last festival where we're going to show such and such. You want to let your customers know that. So if they want this, they know, oh, well, I can just pick them up at your next show. Well, they're not going on the next show. If you're discontinuing merchandise, these come in handy because you can clip signs to them. All right. These are purses, and this is a wire rack. This is one of my wire racks. And what you can do is you can clip things to the wire rack. Also comes in handy if you've got... Uh, little signs also bungee cords like we were talking about earlier you can bungee cord a lot of things but these will keep your purses from blowing in the breeze and ending up in your next door neighbor's canopy or in the middle of the street in the walking traffic which you don't want them to be but they come in really handy so this is basically what we do um one thing that he didn't talk about or didn't is tablecloths 
you don't have to go buy the pre-fitted, pre-made, pre-formed tablecloths. Number one, if you're just starting out, they're very, 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 very expensive. Um, some of them are $100 and up, and they don't last that long. When you're doing a lot of traveling and a lot of festivals, and one thing that we have found out um, through trial and error is people are notoriously leaving the drinks on your table. Um, and when you have drinks that are sat on the table that have ice in them, you get nice little wet rings on your table. So if you're spending a whole lot of money on a tablecloth, and especially if you've got white tablecloths, not a good idea. Uh, white tablecloths are very, very expendable. If you're doing weddings, that's great. But if you're doing festivals, find you a different color. The, the jazzier, the brighter, the better. Um, but you want something that doesn't show water easily or dries very quickly. You want something that's knit because you can ball this up, throw it in a bin, go off you go, and it's ready to go to the next show. You don't have to worry about all these wrinkles and how am I going to iron this. There, if you find knit material, any place that sells material, um, remember that your tables are six foot long. You're going to have to have enough material to go down both ends. You're going to have to have enough. It has to be wide enough. Usually 48 to 54 inches does very well as far as your table falls go. Um, because a lot of the places that you go, and I'll tell you another thing that you can do also. Um, want the bins covered. They don't want to be able to see underneath your tables. Um, that's common practice in a lot of places. Uh, you can also buy white sheets and put underneath your tablecloths. And then that way they will go all the way to the ground on both sides. Um, twin sheets usually work better. Um, that way you're not dealing with a whole lot of excess material for people to fall over. And also, if you've got a really, really windy day and things are blowing everywhere, you can also, if you've got knit material, you can take that and tie it to the legs of your table. And that way, your tablecloth's not leaving your table. Um, one other thing that I wanted to talk to you about today are bags. Um, you can go and buy thank you bags. Or some people have custom-made bags, which are a very good idea. But you need to have bags for your customers to carry your, your merchandise in. Um, because a lot of people will say, we've, we've had this happen several times, is I don't want to buy that because I don't want to carry it. Well, if you've got a bag, there's your reason that they can take their merchandise with them. They can also put it up for different things. Um, one thing that you'll find out when you're doing festivals, if you have a whole lot of people who do the freebies, they do the... All right, that just about covers that. Uh, do want to let you know that you make sure that you take your canopy with you. You can get canopies all the way from $59, $60 for the cheap ones that don't stand up very well to ones that cost two or $300 that stand up real well, but cost that you pay for it. Um, and sides. And, and it always helps to have uh, the sides as well. Those come in handy if it starts to rain. You can put sides up on your canopy to keep the rain from coming in and, and ruining your, your stuff that you worked so hard on. So, you know, if you have sides on it, that's great. Also, uh, we have, you know, several different types of, of racks and everything that we use. We're going to do another video on displays not today but that, that's coming up so make sure make sure that you go down to the below here it'd be right down here somewhere and make sure that you subscribe and that you like this video and, you know and hit that little bell ding because if you make it go ding then you'll get a you'll get a notification every time we put out a new video uh, we're trying to do one every week or so it doesn't always turn out that way but we're trying we're trying to get this thing started so please like the video, get, uh, click the bell to get notifications, sign up, subscribe to it, tell your friends, your neighbors, send a link to them, let them get in on this because 
we're not only talking about the festivals for those of you that want to get involved in festivals, but we're also talking about RVing. We have a camper that allows us to go to festivals that are further away from our house than normal. We don't have to. We're not. We're not necessarily stuck to a to a uh, two hour distance from our house, which is what we used to do. If it was more than two hours, we had to get a hotel room. Well, once you buy, once you rent a motel room and you pay for your food and all this kind of stuff, plus the, you know, every, all your other little incidentals, there goes all your profits. You know, so what you're, if you're trying to make money at this, you want to cut back on on your on your on your expenses as much as possible. We picked up a used camper. We've been working on it. We we go to other areas. We can go, you know, all the way down into Georgia, up in North Carolina. We can even go into Tennessee if we want to. You know, we can go further than that, and we may in, in the days to come. But right now, we're sticking with these three states, the southeastern states. Uh, we've got a godson that lives down in Florida. We may head out down that way. Who knows? But anyway, if you use your camper, your RV, uh, if you use that for, for your business, that can actually be taken off as a, as a tax deduction, tax write-off. You know, I'm not a tax expert. Make sure you get with your accountant or whoever does your taxes. Get their as advice on that expense. As, as a business expense. So, you know, because, hey, if Uncle Sam will help pay for it, let him. You know, heaven knows you're paying enough in. But anyway, this is Jerry. And then right over here is Lisa. Where you at, girl? There you are. There's Lisa. And, uh, and we're the Springfields. And we're with Festival RV. And we want to thank you for being with us today. I want to thank Lisa for for getting over her stage fright real quick. I mean, she had to do something because I turned that, that camera on and she was stuck. Yep. Yep. Okay. So y'all have a great day and check you out on the next, on the next video. Bye now.